Hi, I'm Terry from Ben and Biscuit's Boarding and Training Facility, and this is Daisy. She's a coon hound. She's done really pretty darn good. She's got a lot of energy, but once you get that energy going in the right direction, she, she really listens pretty darn good. Um, through all these exercises, the dog is going to be at your left side, okay? I'm using a uh, six-foot leash, prong collar. Works really good for her. Uh, a little later down the road, she probably won't need that prong collar, but right now it helps when you need to make a correction. The thing with a prong collar, don't keep it tight like this. When you want to make a correction, you leave it loose. When you want to make a correction, you pull and release. Pull and release every time you need to, and then give her a command each time you do that. Um, her reward is to leave a nice loose leash like that. That way, she, she has already learned that's her reward, okay? Uh, we're going to do basically about four or five different exercises. We're going to do the, the heel on leash, the sit stay, the down stay, and the recall. Hey, sit. Come on, sit. And uh, when we return, we'll start out with the heel on leash. Good okay. girl. Again, the dog is at your left side. When you take your first step, ask her to heel. Remember, try to give it a little bit of a loose leash. If she's lagging behind, pulling forward, going, going to the side. Pull and release and keep walking. The worst thing you can do is stop and cater to her while she's sniffing or looking or go her direction she wants to go. You're walking her, remember that, okay? Daisy, heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She likes to sniff the ground, but she is a hound, so. Exercise finish, praise your dog. Okay, first hand signal we need to learn is Go like this for a sit, okay? Just a hand up like that to, as you tell her to sit. This is gonna be her sit stay, so we're gonna ask her to sit. Second hand signal to stay. Put your hand upon your, palm of your hand in her face as you back up. I'm gonna go to the end of the leash, but you at home might only be able to go this far, one or two steps at first. After you've done it a few days or a week, you can back up to the end of your leash. And don't stay out there for more than just a few seconds to start out with. Reinforcing the word stay, okay? Sit, stay, 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 stay. Exercise finish and praise your dog. Okay, this is Daisy's down stay. You're gonna turn and face her. Put your finger right to the ground as you tell her to down. Sometimes she goes down terrific. Other times she doesn't go down very good. Other times she wants to get down there and roll all over and scratch you with her feet. Um, so what you want to do, give her two opportunities. Tell her twice if she doesn't go down the first time. And then you're going to grab the leash where it hooks to the collar and tell her a third time. And you're going to pull gently to the ground as she goes down. And really firmly tell her to stay as you walk away. Like I said, you might only get one or two steps away because you don't want her to pop up because that's breaking the command. Eventually, you'll be able to get back to the end of your leash. Let's see how she'll do. Good girl. You ready, Daisy? Down. Come on. Daisy, down. All right, I've told her twice. Come on. Down. Pull her gently. Come on. Down. Daisy, down. Good girl. Stay. 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 Down. Stay. Stay. Stay, stay, she likes to lay down a roll. Stay, stay, exercise finish, good girl. Sit, good girl. Hey, this is gonna be Daisy's recall. Okay, so we know we got the hand signal to sit, hand signal to stay, hand signal to point, put your finger right to the ground for a down. And your last one is bring your hand to your chest to have her come, okay? So let's see how she does. You're gonna put your palm of your hand in her face, tell her to stay, walk. If you can, without her following you, as far as you can get. If you get to the end of the leash, great. You're gonna only get one or two steps. Do it like this. Then you're gonna bring your hand to your chest as you tell her to come, and she should come. I like her to sit at your feet, but as long as she comes to you, that's what you're basically trying to get her to do. So then off leash later on, hopefully she'll come to you when you call her. Okay, sit, good girl, stay, stay. Nope, put her, he does that, put her right back to where she was. Good girl, and start over. Make sure you put her back where she started. Sit, stay, stay, stay. Daisy, 
I'm gonna make her sit. She did come to me like I asked, but I like her to sit. Good girl, exercise finished, praise your dog. Okay, for Daisy's conclusion, she's done really well. She's kind of warm now, the sun's out, it's kind of warm. Um, going in and out of doorways, I've done the, the sit, stay. Of course, she's on a leash. Tell her to stay, I open the door and walk through first, then do a recall, tell her to come. She's pretty good. Sometimes she'll try to come when you open the door, but just make her stay. And that way, when you're at home and somebody comes, you can put her in a sit stay. Somebody comes to the door and she's not trying to run out the door before everybody else. And uh, it's really good, a good exercise to do if you can follow through with and get them to do it um, on their own later on. Um, she's got, you know, she's a typical hound. Sometimes she does things perfectly. Other times she's like, ah, I don't want to do it. But make her do it. End on a good note. Train her once or twice a day. I'm trying to do twice a day here, once a morning, once in the evening. And it only lasts, you know, like 10 minutes each time. You can do that every day. You're gonna, it's gonna get better and better and better. Okay, and then later on down the road, if she, uh, hounds aren't always the best prospects for it, but if you wanna try to do an off lead later on, um, we can try that. Thank you very much, good girl.